Yes, Elliot, we love your backdrop, dude. Thank you, thank you. Had to had to get a little little rebel move. I love it. You have uh, just replaced Cora. I just you look like the hero of the show, and I really I, I'm living for it. It's dope. If if only that would be that would be awesome. <laughs> so it's a pleasure to be chatting with you all today. And my first question is for everybody, and it's kind of a two part question. Uh, what interested you about the Rebel Moon films to get involved in them, and what was your favorite scene to shoot? Hmm. The favorite scene to shoot had to be our uh, our last supper. Our last supper, mm -hmm. indeed. That would be the favorite scene, scene to shoot. Uh, what's the other question? Uh, what was, it was what was your favorite scene to shoot? And I don't remember what was uh, or what was what drew us. What what what, what drew us to yes. yes? What drew us to the to the to the project? Oh, to the project. I well, the nature of the story. I would say speak of that in the sense that that really resonate with me. And given the fact of you know where I'm from, the continent of Africa, it's one that mimics really so much that this village, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Velt, and um, and the makeup of that mother world trying to indoctrinate everyone and everybody. Uh, uh, yeah, that resonated. For me, it was it was Zack Zack Snyder. <laughs> I grew up loving that man, you know, and loving his, you know, he was mm -hmm. he, he brought stop motion into 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 the world, you know, with with, with three hundred, and he's always so aesthetically adventurous, and and what he makes is so beautiful. And three hundred is a you know a story against a few, against the many, and I think that's how a lot of us have felt at some point, mm -hmm. alone in in battle with whether it's ourselves or our circumstances, and. So I've just always really been a, a fan of him and the stories he's made, and uh, so for me that was a huge thing. And that you know, if I'd known Jaiman was on it, Jaiman, that would have been the reason uh -huh. that drew me yeah. to it. And if I'd known Ian was on it, I'd been like uh, my new bestie. So yeah, that's also a drawing reason. So many drawing reasons now that I've done the project, but honestly, just the in idea of working with Zach. Yeah, in retrospect, yeah. now that I you know now that I know these guys, now that I know they were on the project, it's it's everything. But Zach was just the idea of working with him was just an honor. Yeah, yeah. I feel like when I auditioned, actually, I only got, you know, a very so small little. size. Yeah, we know? got very little because, you know, we, yeah. Because, 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 <laughs> because that's because we're yeah. you know, so, um, so we didn't know anything about the story. All I knew was that I get to ride a bird yeah. and then and that Zach's, Zach's making it. So yeah, yeah, Zach's making it the opportunity to step inside the world he built. Oh, I mean, and, yeah, and yeah. space. Yeah. Yeah. Space is alluring, I think. So well, I was yeah. extremely yeah. flattered to be asked to sing. You know, yeah. and to sing a tribal, you know, impacting song and uh, a tribal chant, and so that was a deal breaker in the beginning. I mean, sort of like, you know, <laughs> as I, yeah. do you, yeah, do you know a tribal chant? <laughs> yeah, tribal chants too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. The deal breaker. That's one of my favorite scenes, actually. Yeah, to be fair, no, really. it's amazing, amazing. Hey, and I just have one more quick question for everybody before I wrap up here. Favorite movie and series you've watched so far this year? So, uh, so, so. Favorite movie or series you've watched so far this year? Oh, you gotta give it to us like that. Um, mm -hmm. Off the top of my head. I... Does it have to be current? <laughs> no, 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 I think no, it's just whatever no, you've watched this year. Yeah. Okay. okay, I've actually only watched one thing and it's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, I mean, like, like, wrong with that. 15 years later, I love that. Later. All the extended versions. Good. Oh, good, like 13 good. hours in total. Was that? Yeah. Right. Oh, Amazing. okay. Amazing. Take that back. <laughs> You're killing me. I don't, I, I can't, I, do you know what? I'll, I'll tell you the last thing that I watched was probably big at end of last year, mm. but last that, that, that I watched that was, that's fucking friggin' interesting. Um, <laughs> Severance. Uh, Severance was really mm -hmm. good. Have you watched Severance? Mm -mm. It's basically a, a, a metaphor on what we're willing to do to uh, to make money and and, and the, the 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 social psychological freedoms we never get from from work. And it's about a some people who've opted to basically have their consciousness split in two. One half goes to work, the other half doesn't ever know it goes to work. So it's basically like some way of having one part of yourself at work, and obviously all that you're basically trapping a part of yourself down at work. All it knows is I wake up and I'm at work. So it's a really cool commentary on what we've done with, you know, um, industrialized people's brains by making us work too much, I guess. But it's a really I'm I'm, I'm lamanizing and ruining it. But Severance, super cool show, mm. super cool show. It's one of those concepts. I was like, oh, that that's a really wonderful and original way of having this conversation. Mm.